Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'm really excited today because it is the first episode, the first installment of my new series where I do subscriber requested videos. So just in case you missed my last video, I made a little announcement where if you have a video request, if there's something you want to see, use hashtag Sarah make this video on Twitter, on Instagram, or on Facebook, and yeah, I will get to the questions that I like the best or that a lot of people are requesting, and I would definitely prefer if you ask the questions in video format, and yeah, I'm going to be picking my favorites, and I'm going to be uploading them every Monday and every single Friday. So if you have a request, make sure you use hashtag Sarah make this video on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, and I'll definitely get to, I don't know, my favorites or the ones that are requested most. So today for the first episode, I am going to be doing my minimalist makeup collection. And this video was requested by Maria from Secret Life of May. And she used the hashtag Sarah make this video, your minimalist makeup collection. So I definitely talked about doing this before and I just thought today would be a good day to do it. A lot of you guys have been requesting it. So let's get started. First of all, I have mentioned this before. I do not consider my makeup collection to be super minimal or anything like that. I think I have a pretty good amount of makeup. Um, I do love makeup. I love doing makeup on myself, on my friends, on my family, and all that kind of stuff. So I do have probably a bigger collection than a lot of people. And I don't even think it's that minimal, but this is just my makeup collection. Like everybody has different interests and this is one of the things that I love that makes me very happy. So I do not have the desire to get rid of all my makeup at all that would make me very sad and for me minimalism is about getting rid of the things that bring stress in your life that are distractions in your life and all that kind of stuff so for me makeup is my favorite thing one of my favorite things I love it so much and I have no desire to get rid of all of it at least right now maybe it will change in the future I have no idea but let's get into the collection I think I already said that but now I'm really gonna show you let's go it's right down here so I keep all my makeup in my bedside thing, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it came with the apartment. So I just have my little mirror here from Ikea and all of my brushes in this Ikea candle holder that a lot of people have. My favorite ones at the moment are these Wet n Wild brushes. They're so good. And I also really like Real Techniques. They have some great stuff. So I keep it in this bottom drawer. And I have everything divided up by like categories, so lips in one, foundations in one, powders, you know, eyeliner and mascara, you get the picture. So first here is my powder drawer. So I have foundation, just highlighters, and you know, blush. And here I keep all my lip products. So this is my favorite lipstick at the moment that I'm wearing in the video. A great lip liner by Essence and NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Some of my favorite products in there. Keep my mascaras, not many, and my one eyeliner, Kat Von D eyeliner, so good. And in my base drawer, I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I wear all the time with this Real Technique sponge. Great combo. And my eyebrow drawer. So some e.l.f. eyebrow products, a few Essence eyebrow products. Everything pretty affordable. Um, I spend more on the foundation and things like that. And I try to save in certain areas like eyebrow pencils. So here are some of my favorite palettes, the Carly Bible, the Naked 3, and I have two Maybelline palettes. But my favorite by far is the Carly Bible. It is amazing. Some moisturizers here, just cheap ones from the drugstore, and an Estee Lauder one I got for free. <laughs> all right, that is all my makeup. Is it a lot? Is it not? I don't know. I think that's all relative. I can tell you it is one of the smallest collections that I've had over the past few years. I definitely started cutting back into products that I love and just getting rid of the ones that I don't like absolutely love. So I'm pretty happy with my collection right now. However, I thought it would be super fun to take this video one step further because I am moving over the weekend. If you guys didn't know that, um, we are moving into a different like month to month furnished apartment because we found one in just a better location. It's got more room and I can't wait to show it to you guys because yeah, this place is okay, it's just not really something super comfortable and this new place is gonna be a lot more comfortable and I can do a lot more lifestyle type of videos. So I'm super excited about that. 
So basically, what does moving have to do with makeup? Well, basically, my husband and I decided that when we move into our new place, since we have to pack everything up again, we don't want to bring anything with us that is tested on animals. And yeah, we just want to switch over to cruelty-free products. So I'm going to start checking all of my hair care stuff, like supplies, like shampoo, conditioner, like all that kind of stuff, you know, lotions, all that kind of like beauty products. We are switching over to 100% cruelty-free products just because because we have been doing like a lot of research um yeah I've been reading up and watching documentaries and stuff like that so yeah we made a whole bunch of lifestyle changes recently and I'm not ready to talk about everything yet but I definitely will talk to you guys about it very soon maybe in a few weeks but for now we're gonna take the first step and we are gonna go through all my makeup that I just showed you guys and we're gonna get rid of anything that is tested on animals so let's get started Okay, so the first compartment we are going through is my eyebrow little kit. So it seems like I have e.l.f. and Essence. Those are the only two brands. So I'm going to use the website Logical Harmony to see if e.l.f. and Essence are on the cruelty-free brand list. Let's look it up. Okay, it looks like e.l.f. is on the cruelty-free brand list, so I can keep my e.l.f. eyebrow products. Additionally, it says all of their cosmetics are vegan, which is great because e.l.f. is super affordable and apparently cruelty-free and vegan, so that is amazing. I get to keep these, how great. Next, we are gonna check for Essence, which I have these two brow products from. Okay, I cannot seem to find any information about Essence Cosmetics, but I will keep these for now, and I will do some more research and see what I can find out, you guys. So, moving on. Okay, next is my base little drawer here. So I have my foundations and my concealer and let's go ahead and give that a check here. So we'll check my Estee Lauder, E-S-T-E-E. -E. Okay, definitely it says that Estee Lauder does test on animals and I have to get rid of this, but that's okay. I've gone through two bottles of this and I felt like it's starting to clog up my pores on my chin really bad, so I think it's time to find a new foundation and I think I can find a cruelty-free one. I already know I'm probably gonna go for the Kat Von D Locket foundation. I have used it in the past and I really like it, but this has to go. It is basically empty, so I'm not being super wasteful or anything. It's almost gone and I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't wanna bring any products that have been tested on animals into our new place. Just, you know, good changes, positive changes. All right, let's check my Hourglass foundation stick here. Okay, Hourglass passes. I actually quite like this foundation stick. I received it from influencer.com or something like that as a sample, and I really like it, but the shade I have is too light, which is unfortunate. Um, actually, it just seems like I'm not gonna have any foundation. <laughs> I might have to run to the store tonight and get some samples and use the samples until I can figure out how I can get some of that Kat Bundy foundation because I don't think you guys realize how hard it is to get makeup here in Switzerland. Obviously they have makeup, but a lot of like the more like newer brands that we are used to at like Ulta and Sephora like Kat Von D and Too Faced and Benefit, like they don't have any of that here. <sighs> we'll see guys, we'll see. Online shopping is my friend right now. Moving on is my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, High Definition Concealer. Obviously, I love this. I have two tubes here. I've already used like two or three. So I really hope that this stuff is cruelty-free because I really like it. LA Girl, it passes, guys. Cruelty-free, very exciting. So it looks like now I have my new uh, base routine until I find a new foundation. So that's good. And the Real Technique sponge, I know for a fact that Real Techniques is cruelty free and vegan, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, moving on to the next little container. I have in here my mascaras and my eyeliner. So I don't have to look up Kat Von D because I know for a fact that Kat Von D is cruelty free, so that's gonna stay. And all of my uh, mascaras, they're from Maybelline. So let's check this out, M-A-Y-B-E. Okay, that is not coming up. Let's check the other website. Okay, Maybelline is coming up as testing on animals and all three mascaras that I have are from Maybelline. So I might be running to the store tonight to go get some new stuff because I really, you guys, I don't wanna keep it anymore. So I might have to use it tomorrow or something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, don't worry, don't worry. But I'm gonna put those to the side. So that's my eye, my eye little container. Just, just, 
just one eyeliner. By the way, I have no idea what I'm going to do when this runs out. I love this eyeliner so much, but they did not sell it over here yet. Okay, moving on to my palettes. First one, BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. I absolutely love this palette. I wear it all the time. I'm wearing it today. I really like it. Let's check here. BH Cosmetics. Again, we have received multiple responses that are unclear. What do we do about those guys? What do we do? Let's check if it's on PETA's for test. It's not, guys. We don't know. Does it say anything here? Cruelty free. It says it right on the packaging. There you go, guys. Okay, let's check my Naked 3 Urban Decay. Urban Decay. They are cruelty free, but their parent company is not. That's. This is, there's so much gray area, guys, <laughs> trying to like go cruelty free. So, so much gray area. I mean, I'm gonna keep it because I love it. I love this so much and it is super expensive and I just wear it all the time. But I'm definitely gonna do some more research um, and just maybe look into brands that are a little bit more clear and start buying those ones that are clearly cruelty free going forward. But for now, I'm gonna keep this. Um, yeah, do you guys know these naked palettes are so popular? There has to be some information out there about these being cruelty free or not. Um, but I'm gonna keep mine for now. And my two palettes, we just learned that Maybelline is not cruelty free, so I have to say goodbye to these. But that's okay because they're not the greatest. I mean, they're pretty good. The pigmentation is not insane or anything like that. So I'm okay getting rid of them as long as I can keep my Naked 3 and my Carly Bible palette. I am totally good, so I'm gonna set these aside. Okay guys, next my little lipstick and lip liner drawer. Let's just start here. NYX. I have a NYX soft matte lip cream. NYX. Cruelty free but their parent company is not again. What do we do about that? You know what? For now I'm going to keep them but again I'm going to do more research. Wet n Wild. I have a whole bunch of Wet n Wild um, lip glosses. Wet n Wild comes up as cruelty free, which is cool. So we can keep all of those. Elf, we already learned Elf is cruelty free. Oh, here's a new brand, guys, Revlon. I do have a good amount of Revlon lipsticks. Revlon, uh-oh. Doesn't seem like they're coming up as cruelty free. Let's check the other one. Revlon, tests on animals. Okay, we are going to get rid of my Revlon lipsticks. Let's check, I've got another e.l.f. that can stay. Okay, here's another brand that's new as well, Kiko. I really like Kiko, they are um, an Italian um, brand and they really have some cool stuff at affordable prices. I am not finding... All right, Kiko is cruelty free, so they can stay. I'm gonna put those in my stay pile. <laughs> Elf lip gloss, that can stay. Kiko, Kiko, this can all stay. I've got a bunch of Kiko lip liners, so that's really exciting that they can all stay. Essence, Essence lip liners, these were in the gray area, but I'm gonna keep them for now and do a little bit more research on those. And what do we have? Essence, again, gray area. Okay, I have here an Elme lip gloss. I think this is like um, my only Elme. Let's check, guys. Okay, got to get rid of it. Can't have that. I have here a Victoria's Secret lip plumper. I don't know if this is going to show up on any of these lists. Okay, Victoria's Secret actually did pop up on the companies that test on animals list on PETA, so that has got to go. And that leaves me with not that many lip products. I mean, still a good amount, but not, oops. <laughs> all right, last little container here is all of my powders. So I think we know a lot of these already. I've got these e.l.f. highlighters. Those can stay wet and wild. That can stay um, e.l.f. duo here. That can stay. Kiko can stay. Okay, we have some new brands here. We've got uh, Benefit. I have not checked Benefit Cosmetics yet. Wow, Benefit Cosmetics is popping up as it does test on animals. Now that is extremely surprising just because they seem like a modern, like cool company. So my hula bronzer has to go, which is really sad because I love this, you guys. But I'm going to have to find a good replacement. If you know a good cruelty-free bronzer that is matte and similar to hula, let me know. This one has to go. 
Okay, I just searched for L'Oreal because I have two of these L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powders and it seems L'Oreal tests on animals. What's up with that? So I gotta get rid of these two. That's fine. They're quite powdery. Not my favorite anyways. And I have two um, products left here. A clean color um, tan raw matte bronzer. I got this for a dollar from Shop Miss A and a clean color um, blush. So let's check these out. Okay, clean color is not popping up on any of the lists, so I'm gonna have to do some research on those brands, on that brand. So it seems like there's a lot of gray area in this zone. Um, a lot of the companies, like, it's not really clear if they test on animals or not. Sorry guys, the sun is changing, but I'm almost done here. This is my absolute favorite setting spray. It is empty, but I'm um, happy to know I can buy it again because it's NYX, but I'm gonna get rid of it because it's empty. And I have here some of my moisturizers. Estee Lauder, we just learned, has to go, so let's get rid of that. Equate. Well, this is a Walmart moisturizer. Let's see if we can find any information on this. Not popping up on the cruelty-free list. Let's check if they pop up on the companies that do test lists. Cannot find an answer on this. I'm gonna have to look that up. And my little Migro moisturizer, again, I'm gonna have to look that up because I know that's not gonna be on any of those lists. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit on the longer side, but I haven't done a longer one in a while, so maybe you liked it. So yeah, a little makeup collection plus getting rid of all of my um, tested on animal products. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited to move into the new apartment with all of my cruelty-free makeup. I just, yeah, I feel so, so good about that. And like I said, we are making a lot of changes, which I will be talking about soon. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye!